as uh, I believe Harrison is the young Link player, so we'll see. Yep, there we go. And Kazuya, yep, that is Shoki's Kazuya coming on out here. We have seen them on uh, last last week, I believe last week TSS. Shoki did quite the number, but wasn't able to pull anything out. Here we go, though. We're going to get into our very first match, PS2, game one. We'll see how this does. And uh, the Kazuya might have a bit of a difficulty here as Harrison with these projectiles will certainly be giving Kazuya some tough, um, a tough time. Hard time to enter, hard time to approach and uh, get that space. They need to get into Harrison's face, but Harrison will be denying that as best as they can. And hello! I have someone joining me onto this uh, broadcast here. Hello, hello. Sorry for the delay. It's KY. KY. Yeah. Nice to see you here, KY. KY, how have you been doing today? Pretty solid. I've been having a, a blast healing this tournament, you know, for the spectators. Absolutely. All right. We've got the we got the Kazuya versus the Young Link matchup, you know. We certainly do. And Kazuya has the rage here. I think, oh, never oh, okay. mind. Never mind. Not going to get anything off of that. That Ford are going to clean it out. I thought they may have been able to kill something there, but instead, Harrison able to collect the first stock here. 100% onto them, though, as, uh, oh, that kick deflects the arrow. Sure does. It's, uh, got a it's got a reflector property on it. Not that useful against Young Link, to be honest. Better against, that. like, the charge shot kind of characters, the more powerful projectiles, but it can come in clutch like it just did right here. Certainly, and a nice snipe there from Shoki uh, will actually collect that kill. So we're into our second stock here, but the projectiles are coming on out, and the up smash will finish off that combo, getting racking up so much damage onto Shoki. But you gotta remember, it's Kazuya, and Kazuya can just kill you off of one hit when he, you know, when the circumstances are right. So this lead might might not be much of a lead if, if, for much longer. Certainly, the grab comes on in, but does not turn into anything here. Oh, well, trying to get some jabs on in, but not landing there. there. Harrison actually able to find his kill. Five minutes. Minutes. Five minutes of that raffle will be starting, so if you have not gotten a raffle ticket, do it right now. Right now, go get a raffle ticket. Yeah, no time better than now. Absolutely. Either way, though, Harrison right now is winning this game. He's got a, big, as, he's uh, got a bit of a dominant re lead right here. Shoki's having such a hard time approaching all of these arrows and boomerangs coming on out, and uh, this sword is certainly giving them some issues. The bomb comes on in, narrowly dodges it here. They have the rage, lands a grab. Tech chase? Okay, is this gonna get the command grab? Wow, so much damage. So much damage on two hits there, but not enough to kill as Harrison is still alive and kicking at 150. And the up air, oh, almost, almost. Will not kill him quite yet, actually, as they are still alive. The bomb comes back down, though, with a vengeance. Down to up we'll air, yeah. For Harrison. Yeah. Shoki was getting really smothered by that pressure coming out from Young Link. That Certainly. He's so fast, so many projectiles, so many hitboxes. It just a big, it just so much, so many hurdles for him to overcome. You know, personally, I know Harrison's talked to me earlier about how he doesn't want to play against Kazuya, but he seems to have it all, have it all handled right here. Yeah, no issues for Harrison whatsoever there, as I believe they ended with still two stocks. Yeah, but and you know, we'll one, see. A one stock, any, any with one stock is always a little bit uncomfortable against Kazuya, so Certainly. that two stock lead definitely going to feel real good. We'll see what. Oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh. The okay. mix ups. Shoki swapping on here is here. Or, <laughs> characters over to Hero, yeah. and uh, they have the best skin on, so that's really good. That'll give them yeah. an advantage coming into this next match. You know, Hero also doesn't really have to approach as much as Kazuya does. You know, he's got all these long-range options. He's got his menu to, like, buff himself up with. So the onus definitely isn't as on him as it was in the last game, so that might that might be the change of pace that Shoki needs to win this one. Absolutely. Oh, the thwack. Oh, Snoo's not landing quite yet, but the psych up is in. He's getting so many buffs. So many buffs here and a heal as well. Oh, the forward oh. smash. If it crit, that would have been over. With a crit, that would have uh, broken the shield. Oh, balance no so good in this matchup. Absolutely. As Shoki is just finding everything they need on this menu. Oh, the side, fully charged side B does not land. That could have been it. Looking a little low on the mana, though. They may have to, they may have to fight a little bit to get that mana back. Yeah. Shoki now in a bit of a tough spot with no more mana to work with. So now oh this God. gives Harrison some time to turn things around as they had been really struggling with all those mana moves. Oh, the bad DI. That's so unfortunate. Oh, unfortunate indeed as Shoki will lose their first stock here. But now they're back up to full mana and will get that bounce online once again. Makes the things a little bit more difficult for Harrison, but they still got that sword. Yeah, they're going to force Harrison to be using one of his close-up options. But of course, Young Link's close-up options are so strong. Certainly. Accelerate and... <laughs> Yoink! Yoink! <laughs> the psych up, up throw does in fact kill, um, and it looks hilarious. I'm going to say it here. 
So that will be Shoki collecting that kill, but they have 50% on them here. So they still got to turn things around. The mana's in their favor, though. Yeah, definitely not as explosive by Kirkus Kazuya, but, you know, we can, Shoki definitely has the, the comeback potential still with the uh, those powerful spells coming off of the menu. He's looking for Zoom. Oh, still alive. Oh, oh. the great edge guard. Harrison actually kind of kept him alive there with those projectiles. Uh -oh. and okay. He's out of mana. Uh, interesting. Final stock, no mana here for Shogi. They're going to have to bring things back on up, but that could just give Harrison enough room to work with. And when you're up a stock here, Harrison certainly has plenty. Shogi trying to make their way back into the stage, get some presence on this map. They've got the oomph and the psych up, I think. Yes. <laughs> But they also have 100% on them, and they are getting pressured out by Harrison here. It's okay. That Rage plus the Psych Up. Oh, that's it. And there we go. There it is. It was just enough, in fact, to turn that around. And now we're down to final stock here. Bouncing the final stock. This is really helpful for Shoki. They're still low on mana here. They're going to have to be careful. He's going to need an opener to get some of that mana back and then get a clutch power up. Into oh, my goodness. That could have been it. That certainly could have. Magic Burst. Oh, not going to throw it out, though. The Thwack will not yeah. land. Harrison not falling. Doing a little gambling for sure. We sure do. Okay, life situation. Five. Shoki is in a very dangerous spot here, but if they can clutch this one out, this could be crazy. They've got enough mana to work with here. Another could land tilt. something like Kaboom. Still alive. Oh. Smash not going to find anything there because he charged there a little bit, making it a, that much extra shape safer. Sizzle. And you have to keep your eyes peeled for what Shoki could pull, but no, it's not, it's not enough. The down to up air confirmed, yeah. just like last game. That Close is certainly a good confirm, and Harrison knows what he's doing on that. And that is a quick set. 